Hi, welcome to the SQL tutorial video and today we're going to look at convert and cast. Now convert and cast are functions um, that change a piece of tech, a piece of a, a data's type. So maybe you want to change a variable or maybe um, data in a column and you want to change it from being a number to being a text or vice versa. Or maybe you want to say that this was a char, now it's going to be a var char with a different um, length. So you use one or the other, convert or cast. Now cast is a very straightforward change from one data type to another. Convert, you've got a few more options that allow you to change formats. So you use convert when you want to change the format of a date, for example. So I'm going to go through a few examples in this video to show you how you can use cast and convert. So let's begin with cast. Um, so I'm going to say what I want to do simply is um, I'll just do that. Actually, I'll do it the other way around. What I want to do is I want to build um, a, a code or an ID based on these letters followed by a number. So I want it to be ABC1. Um, so what I want to do is I want to concatenate it. So if I try and concatenate that, it's going to say you can't do that. You can't, this is text, this is a number, you can't concatenate text and numbers. It, it, what it's trying to do here is it's trying to do some sort of mathematical thing to say this plus this. But that doesn't work either. In maths you can't have letters plus numbers. So what you need to do is change this, the type of this, so it's no longer a number. So we can say cast and um, So if I do that, and if I run this, now we get ABC1. So this cast, um, the, the, the way you write it is you say cast, and then in brackets, it says, okay, um, first of all, what's the data that you want to change the type of? And you can, you can just put a value in there. Then you say as, and then you say what you want it to be. So I'll, I can do it to be whatever I want it to be, and then close brackets to finish. And if I run that, you won't see anything obviously different here, but then when I do, as I did before, it will accept it as ABC10. Now, just to give you um, another example of actual um, table data, so I'm in AdventureWorks here. If I run this query here, what I get here is um, text, text, and a number. And I want to concatenate these. So I want to say, um, bring back first name and last name in the first column. And there it is. But then also I want to say, show me the lead time. So uh, I want to put the lead time after as well. And if I run that, it's going to say you can't do that. So at this point, I need to cast this as, um, don't know how big it might be. So I'll just do varchar5, closing brackets. And if I run that, it now puts in there Adam Reynolds 16, Alan Monitor 16. You can see the numbers are now concatenated because I have casted that numeric column to be a string. To be text. So cast is pretty straightforward. You're simply saying cast this piece of data to be a different data type and it's very useful and it's used quite a lot. Now let's look at convert. Now convert is often is kind of commonly used to change the format of dates. So let's look at this. So let's first of all um, Put a date in there and I'll just run that and there's a date. What we can then say is um, convert. Now convert expects three uh, parameters. The first two are required, the third one is optional. So the first um, parameter is what do you want the output to be? What data type do you want the output to be? So Unlike cast, where you said, this is my data and I want it to be this, with convert, 
you begin with the type you want the output to be. So in this case, I want it to be a date. Then you say, it says, okay, what, what's the text that you want me to mess about with? So I'm going to say, um, 01 Jan 2021. And I'm going to leave it at that. And if I run that, what this now does is it converts the date here, 1st of Jan 2021, and it puts it in a date format for SQL. So it's put it into 2021-01-01. So if I change that, actually, maybe it might be easier to kind of see um, if I just run that. Now you can see here year, month, day, because that's the setup in my um, local SQL year month day so it's converted it to sql's date format which is month dash sorry year dash month dash day so um if i try to convert a date and use a uh, text that is not a date so if i say the 41st of jan 2021 and i try and run that it will bring me an error because it's trying to convert this to a date and because it isn't a date it says i don't know what you're trying to do here that doesn't make any sense to me but if i change it to be a proper date then it accepts it and that's fine now what you can do is you can change the format of the date okay so let's try this this third option here um, is a format type. And like I said, if you, if, you, if you look up SQL Convert in Google, you're going to get W3Schools or the, MS, uh, the Microsoft um, website that shows you about Convert. And you'll see that this third parameter here, there's lots and lots of options to, um, to what you can put in here and it will change the format of this date here. So I'm going to change this. And initially, this isn't going to work. But if I just put 103 here, which is a format, and I run that, oops, it doesn't change anything here. Um, and that's because this here is... Um, hold on, let me just try and... Let me just change that. I might be wrong here, actually. One sec. Yeah, so it hasn't changed the format um, because because you've got here a, a data type of date, it will automatically give it the uh, default format for SQL, which is this. So what you need to do is you need to make the output to be text. So I'm going to say this is going to be, uh, I'll make it a varchar, and I'll make it 12 for this example. And if I run this, um, now that still hasn't changed the format. I mean, it hasn't changed the format because this middle bit here is text. It isn't a date as such, it's just text. So what I need to do is I need to cast this to be a date. Now this is episode slightly complicated, but if I just cast this as a date, now if I run that, you'll see that this format has changed to be day slash month slash year. And if I copy this and I do... 106 rather than 103 we get that format and it, actually that's the format i've been starting with but anyway that's the format um it, you can change this so that it is a it's rather than 100 and something it's just a number um a single number so rather than 103 i'll make it three and what that will do is it will take off the um it will make it just 21 rather than 2021 so if i run that you'll see here it's put the year as two characters instead of four so all of these things here rather than 106 i'll make it six and if i run that see it's got that 21 rather than 2021 and if i put it back to 106 it puts it as a full year now there are lots and lots of formats like i said um i'll do one more example let's just see how this looks um and then i want to show you something else so let me just do uh, this is an example and I'll make this a little bit bigger um, ah yes okay so this is a date time example but in the example date here I just gave it a date and actually I want to give it a date time so I'm going to use the get date function which returns the current date 
So now here in this format, you can see it's a full date and time. So I had somebody come to me recently to say, I want, I want my date in a particular format and I want the time um, following it. But when I looked at the convert options, that wasn't uh, a possible um, solution. So what I did was, um, I, if I just copy this from a, another page here, what they wanted was they wanted day slash month slash year space and minutes and hours. So if I just put this here, they wanted that followed by that, except without the um, seconds. And that isn't an option in convert kind of out the box. So you've got to build it. So what I'm going to do, or what I did do, is, I'm, is that I took this. I'll just put it here. And I did um, a plus and concatenated these two here. So if I run that. It then gave kind of what they wanted, except that they didn't want to see the seconds. So what I did was I changed that data type to be char five, and it forced it just to return the first five characters of the time element. So convert gives you lots and lots of options, but not all options are there, in which case you can build them using um, a couple of options combined. Uh, last thing I want to show you with regard to convert is how numbers are converted. So I am going to um, do this as an example. Um, now what's interesting here is you don't have to de define the um, size of a bar chart. You can just put bar chart in here uh, as a data type. Then I'm going to cast this value um, as the money data type right so i've got this convert i'm going to convert this value here as a bar chart and i've got this as um, my third parameter this is zero and if i run that what it does is it returns the value to do decimal places now if i copy that so there were three options when it comes to converting um, money rather than dates. So if I just copy that twice, if I change that to one and that to two and I just run those, you'll see the first one returns the value to two decimal places. The second one does the same, but with a um, comma for the thousandth separator. And the third one returns the value as you put it in. Um, I'll put the SQL that I've just been put in, um, that I've just used to be the examples, I'll put it in the in the YouTube description, um, see if it'll help. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll hopefully this video helped um, in some way. Thanks very much for your time. See you next time.